Okay, we're going to go over how to set up a static IP address on your Mac. Uh, we'll also go over how to set up your router and the DNS IP addresses as well. So what you want to do is you want to open up system preferences. Okay, so that would be in your taskbar there or it'll be in your, in your Apple system preferences as well. Okay, and you want to go to network. Now by default, your computer will probably have DHCP listed. Now this could be under your Ethernet or under Wi-Fi. So if you're connected to your airport, to the wireless, yours may also be using DHCP. So what DHCP is doing is it's just getting an IP address automatically from a service that is giving out IP addresses, essentially a DHCP server or, or it could be your, your router, your modem, for example, that's giving you a DHCP address. Uh, we are going to set up a static one because what will happen with DHCP is often the IP address will change after a certain time. So by having a static, it will never change and it doesn't have to assign a new IP address uh, every time the computer restarts, for example. So in here, we want to go into manually. Okay, so using DHCP is what we had. We want to go into manually. And in here, we want to put in the IP address that we want to use. Okay, so yours will probably be, well, I'll leave that for now. But let's just go IP address. I want to do 192.168.1.1. Okay, so with a static IP address, every IP address that is on your network uh, I'll get a bit technical, but anything that's in your in, in the same subnet range, right, uh, needs to be in a different IP address, all right? You don't need to know about that. Just ensure that every device that's on your network has a unique IP address, okay? Because what DHCP will do is it assigns a new IP address to a device. If you have a smartphone, say you have an iPhone or, or a tablet or another computer, um, it will assign a different IP to that computer, okay? So you wanna set up this IP address, for example. On another device, you may wanna set up two, you know? Another device, you may wanna set up three. So let's just say 192.168.1.1. We wanna do the subnet as 255.255.255.0. And then you wanna put in your router's IP address, okay? so. This is what you want your what well, you want your computer to still be able to communicate with your router. Now your router will generally be your modem, for example. So it could be the, the, the device that lets you access the internet. If you don't put in your router's IP address in here, you may lose connectivity to the internet. Okay, so you want to ensure that you know your router's IP address. Okay? So your router could be 192.168.1.1. It could be 254 as well, okay? Try to keep the, the IP range here, right? See those first three sets of numbers in the same range. So let's say you go and you find that your router is 10.1.1.1. That's not going to work. So you may want to change that to 10.1.1.2, okay? Let's just leave it at what I had before. All right, one, two, five, four. Advanced, DNS. Now this is the other area that you may want to change. Ignore the numbers that I have in here. This is for some other stuff. But you'll want to put in DNS IP. So what DNS lets you do is whenever your computer tries to access the internet, it needs to know how to convert an IP address into a host name or into a website name. So when you see, for example, www.google.com, there's actually an IP address that's associated with that. So you want to put in DNS addresses. Generally, these will be from your service provider. So you may want to, before you make any changes, go into your service provider's website or you can give them a call and ask them what their DNS IPs are. They'll generally have two, a primary and a secondary. 
And once you have those, you want to put those in here. Okay, so you just say plus, and then you put in, you know, whatever their IP address will be, etc. Okay, you'll add those two in. All right, you'll okay that, and then apply, and that's it. You should now then have a static IP for your computer, for your Mac. Thanks for watching.